Alright, hello, welcome back. We're back with more Let's Play Alone in the Dark now. Um, I have a, I've gotten it to where I killed the Weremole, and we're at 22 health, so that's not terrible. Um, we are now caught back up to where we previously were. And, funny thing is, I actually got a little bit further than this, so I kind of know what I need to do. Um, and the reason behind that is, is because I actually was playing the game, but my mic was muted the entire time. But luckily, like, I died, and I went back to, to the save, and I was like, okay, let's go ahead and check, because I noticed in the previous couple episodes that the music was a little bit overpowering. And, uh... I was just kind of like, okay, let's see if I fixed it, and then I was like, I can't hear me at all. And then I looked down and I was like, oh, it's muted. That's unfortunate. But uh, I do know what we kind of need to do. First of all, let's not touch you. And we want to go over here, because inside this room we want to avoid Miss Ghost Girl. And that is because she will instant kill us the moment that we touch her. Oh! And we also don't want to go through the front door. And I, I, I probably, like, uh added in a little uh, clip showing why because the front door you get no we're not under attack oh yeah by the way photograph of Jeremy and his niece I'm gonna guess the ghost chick over here is his niece I don't want the poker no I will take the matchbox yes and then we want to avoid touching her. Don't do it. Come on, boy. Come on, don't touch her. We're just... No, I don't want the gramophone. What are we going to play? Shadowgate music. Did I get the shells out of there? Yeah, I did. Okay, use. Okay, rifle is reloaded. Nice. And then we're just going to let her be. Like I said, I probably plugged in what what both of those things did if you go and touch her she will like instant murder you and if you go to the front door which is downstairs another level then the front door will instant kill you and you'll you've seen why It was like the Kraken opened up and like murdered my my face. It swallowed me whole. Now we already read the journal in that room, so we should be fine. We should be fine. We don't need to go in there. And then in this room we ran into an octopus looking thing that was sitting in the bathtub. But if we run in real quick, we'll be able to grab a jug and search the cabinet for our first aid kit. And get out of there. No, get out of there. Get out of there. There we go. I don't think he can leave the room, so luckily we can just get by with getting hit. Ooh, that took out a bunch of our health. But we got a flask. And that will make us go up to, we were at 22, we're now at 17, so that thing did like, uh, five points of damage. Now we're at 37, oh, that, that, we went up 20, 20 health points. We'll go back to open slash search. Alright, and the reason why we had to grab the matchbox first was because that's how we light our lamp and this room here is is dark so we need the lamp 
to actually explore it. The room is dark. We don't need that. We can get rid of those two, but use this. And now we can see in the dark, right. So, can I go ahead and open and search? Nothing important. Am I not allowed to open and search things in here? Is that just not a thing? Or am I supposed to do it in the dark? The room is in the dark. Take some bullets? Sure. Go for it. Nothing important. I'll go back down here. We'll go and pick up the oil lamp again. I don't want to use it too much. We don't know if we'll need anything from it. Take the very heavy statuette? Sure. Take the book? Sure. Um, let's go ahead and just get out of this room so I don't waste this lamp. It looks like there was supposed to be two photographs on that wall, but they're gone. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, we'll go to Actions Fight because I don't want to be wasting the oil lamp. In fact, can I do anything to stop it? Reload, throw, drop, or put. So that's probably a no. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this book. I didn't get to read it last time. Because I didn't go into that room last time. I just knew I needed to go in there. Okay, so A Brightness from Afar by Lord Bulliskine. An account of his celebrated voyage to New England, 1824. Following a splendid journey, the sunny harbor came into sight. The locals were, such, were much impressed with one's arrival in their midst. One had time to sketch several of them and notice signs of degeneracy. Some children showed one, showed one their queer hands that would inspire uneasiness. Upon the promise of a few coins, a child has undertaken to reveal to one a, a most prodigious phenomenon of a natural order. What admits to being skeptical as the prodigies prodigiousness of the marvel, whatever it may be, indeed one suspects it to be little more than any evening stroll to some charming wooden hut situated in the forest hereabouts. One will nonetheless go, for it is always well to submit to such local enthusiasm. One admits to being somewhat flabbergasted, the milky way shone like the fires of the apocalypse from the inky celestial vault. Certain distant stars, normally naked to the invisible eye, were clearly visible, glittered indeed with a strange intensity. The heavy clouds that had settled above the village had no hold over that place. It would be pointless to offer her here the names of the constellations one perceived in utter clarity, apart from the interminable length of such a list. One might conceivingly risk being charged with exaggeration. The cross cast its shadow on the ground. The sea in the distance was dead calm. Tonight one will return to that spot and draw those stars. Tomorrow night one will at last see Halley's Comet and its brilliance. The youngster will carry torches. Despite one's developed sense of direction, honed by years of travel, one feels incapable of finding one's way through the dark forest unaided. The drawings will, one is conceived, set light to the soul of men. Such a moon, one lost count of the craters, so simply, sharply was their definition. Loath as one is to seem excessive in one's appraisal, one cannot but feel the forest clearing is indeed a place outside the common laws of time and space. This actually kind of reminds me of the style of uh, Dracula, the original Dracula book. How uh, Bram Stoker, like, described different scenes this is v very close like this page only not like the previous ones but what i just read that's instantly what came to mind uh surely it is not an halluc hallucination 
How strange to consider that idle conversation. Some research in the British Museum and a voyage to this backward village should culminate in so astounding a discovery. It may be that others have noticed the extraordinary nature of that place. How else may one explain the presence of that cross? So, there was something important about a cross. Now, there's only one other room back here, which is the room I actually died in, so I'm going to go ahead and save. And I don't know how to deal with this room yet. I might have to look it up. Because, what we have here is this guy, this painting here. We probably won't need that book. We have that painting there. And like I said, I'm going to save. And basically what's wrong with this painting is the moment I try and go down this hall, it, thro it starts throwing axes at me. And it kills me. You see what I mean? So I don't know exactly how to deal with it because obviously like the axe still keeps coming. The room is in the dark, and the, there is another axe, and they do a healthy sum of damage, as you can see. So that is very, I don't know, like, how to, to avoid that at the moment. Okay, right, so if we're in the dark, we should probably go ahead and pick up that oil lamp, which it, it wasn't using anything from my inventory, uh, using any of the oil while in my inventory. What the heck is that? Oh, no thank you. Oh, whatever the hell you are, back the hell up. Uh, no thank you. Can I go through these doors? Is that an instant kill? Probably is. No, it's not. Okay. Oh. Oh, he didn't do any damage to me. Interesting. Um, let's see, can I kill him with a rifle? Oh, he didn't follow me. Oh yeah, I did read something. Apparently, if you look at this guy in the face and throw this, it will instant kill him. Which is the reason I picked that up. I've heard that's the only use for it, but it's a use nonetheless. So I will take the sword. And I will leave that, because it's not important anymore. So, uh, that will replace the sword that we broke earlier. However, apparently we still need that broken sword for something. I saw a hint about it. Um, I've not seen anything else, but we need to go ahead and get rid of all the keys and stuff that we've been picking up. Um, and won't need again because we've already used them. So I'm going to go over here, and actually, just so that I know where everything's at, and can remember where it's at, I'm going to go to that room where the journal page is, right here, and I'm going to go ahead and drop it in here. Which, by the way, um, that where mole or whatever it is, it will make a sound while searching the uh, curtains here. See, listen to that. He's evil. Anyway, let's go ahead. We'll drop this. There's no room. Yes, there is. Drop it. There we go. Uh, we won't drop those, because I assume we'll need them. We can drop that. We can drop you. What else do we need to drop? We'll drop you. We have another key somewhere. We can drop you. You. Alright, what else? We can get rid of you. Is that everything? I think so. So we should be good now. Let's go ahead and get out of here.
so from here then what's attacking me probably nothing yeah nothing's attacking me okay let me think here do we want to go downstairs maybe and explore a bit that might be worth it. Ooh, we should probably save now that I think about it. We've not saved in a little while. Oh, there's multiple pl- okay. D-11, uh, why not? I didn't know there was multiple uh, profiles. Okay. So what do we have around here? Like I said, you don't want to go through the front door because that's just, it's a mess. What do we have in here? Someone put the, the pot. Oh, a pot of soup. Yes, I will take it. I wish we could like examine them further, you know? I don't see like a, a way to examine anything other than, hey, this is what it is. I wish it would give us like a little description like explaining what it looks like or something. I, I know we can physically see it. It looked like it was pea soup or something like that, but... I will take another matchbox, I guess. That seems important since it helps me light my oil lamp. Where's this door go to? Should I finish exploring this room, actually? Yeah, that goes into a hallway. I'm gonna finish exploring this room. What do we have here? Oh, hello. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a zombie. Never mind. I was gonna get worried for a moment. But I have a new weapon. And it will destroy him. Get back. Get back, you cur. How many slashes with a sword does it take to kill Zumzum? -Zum? The answer is... Ow. Ow. That was three. Is he on? Yep, that's it. Three slashes from the sword kills the Zumzum. -Zum. I will take the oiling can. Options, search. It's full of water. Ooh, can I take the jug and fill it with water? You fill the jug. There we go. Anything here? Did I just use the jug? No, okay. Oh, can I use that to restore health, perhaps? Because I can eat or drink it? Oh, that was probably poisonous. Well, we'll use it again. We need to refill it with water because we drank it all. Okay, so now, actions, search. Well, this, this pile of blech. Box of shoes, sure. Is that it? Yes, all this black stuff in the corner, that was a, a box of shoes. It, it, I was just saying because it looked important, almost. No water. I doubt I need to add water there, so we'll leave it be for now. What do we have in here? That doesn't seem important. No. Nope. Okay. We have a sword, so why would we need a knife? That makes sense, right? Oh, hello. I was about to skip this door entirely. What do we have here? Oop, 
key. I will take it, yes. Biscuit box, sure. Nothing important. Nothing important. Alright. I wonder where that key goes to. We've not ran into any locked doors or anything. So that's interesting. Do we look in here? I get the feeling we probably did. Nothing important. So what do we have down this hallway? We have one door here, automatically. What do we have inside? Oh! Well, let's just back up. They all looked ready for dinner. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll not be that dinner, how about it? What do we got down this hallway? Okay. Okay, so, we'll come across here. Is there something? There's two doors on this side. What's in door number one? Or well, this technically... I would say this looks more like door number two. What's in door number two? I will take an arrow. Three arrows. Oh. Who's attacking me? Oh, sp- Why is it always spiders? Get out of there, man. You can't fight these spiders. They're... Death incarnate. Oh, they're gonna kill me, aren't they? Actions. Fight. Oh, come on. Don't die to the spiders. Don't die to the spiders. Oh, they're gonna kill me, aren't they? I always knew spiders were evil. That's unfortunate. Are the, the spiders gonna drag me off into the, the underground dungeon? Nope. Just a zom zom. <laughs> 